What's up? I got a tutorial here for you. I'm going to show you how to do auto tune in case you don't know. Auto tune is also known as the share effect, aka T Pain's best friend and Lil Wayne's love child. So, what you want to do is find out the key of your song. If you don't know the key of your song, it's going to sound pretty bad, but I happen to know this little piano ditty is in A major. So, then I recorded a quick vocal here. And then to put the auto tune effect on, you click a blank insert slot, and go to pitch, pitch correction, and choose stereo or mono. And then you have this box pop up. First, you have to choose the scale. It won't let you choose the root note first. So for the scale, I'm doing major, and the piano is in A, and that's it. Uh, you won't really hear the effect unless you turn the response faster. Uh, T Pain and Lil Wayne use a very fast response. That gives it the uh, kind of stair step sound that you hear of uh, their voice going over multiple notes at once. Uh, one other tip I have for you is I would put pitch correction up towards the top of your signal chain. To do that, you hold command and drag it up. Uh, if it's after the reverb and echo, you might get some clicks and pops. So I always make sure it's the first thing up there. But that's it. It's on there and it's good to go. So that's it. Um, one thing you may not know is uh, you can automate the pitch correction. And that means uh, you can choose when it's on and when it's off. To, so to do that, show your automation and then change it from volume up to pitch correction. And then from there, go to response. And you can see that's where we set that really fast response. If you don't want to hear it, for maybe the second part of your chorus, uh, you would click two dots and draw one of them really high, and then it's not going to be audible. You can play with that to see what I mean, but I'll let you do that on your own time. Uh, this is also helpful for uh, if you occasionally get one spot that's always popping on you. It's uh, probably because it can't do it that fast. I've ran into that problem once or twice. So if I get a word that's popping every time, I'll put the response way up for that word and then put the rest down and it'll get through that part. You won't have pitch correction on that one word, but you won't really notice and it'll get you a nice clean take. But that's all you got to do for that. From there, you just bounce your track like you normally would. If you have any questions, you can comment me or message me. Thanks.